Have you ever thought about starting your own air conditioning installation and maintenance business? Take a moment and let that sink in. It's an industry that's always in demand, providing a service that's essential to both residential and commercial sectors. And the best part? It's a business that can be quite lucrative when done right. In this guide, we're going to walk you through the crucial steps to set up your venture in this field. From conducting thorough market research to understand your local demand, to defining your services and target market in a well-thought-out business plan, we'll discuss the importance of the right legal structure, licensing, and insurance. We'll talk about the skills and certifications needed, the significance of sourcing quality equipment, and the art of pricing your services just right. And that's not all. We'll also delve into the world of marketing, networking, staff recruitment and training, customer service, compliance, contracts, and growth opportunities. So, are you ready to dive into the world of HVAC business? Let's get started. First off, we need to understand the market. Is there a demand for HVAC services in your area? Market research isn't a step to be skipped or taken lightly. It's the compass guiding your venture into the right direction. It's about identifying the demand for air conditioning services in your local market. But it's not just about knowing there's a demand, it's about understanding that demand. What specific services are people looking for? Is it installation, maintenance, or energy-efficient solutions? This understanding helps shape the offerings of your business. Now imagine for a moment that you're a runner in a race. Without knowing who else is running, how would you strategize? The same logic applies to business. Assessing the competition is key. Who else is providing these services? What are they doing right and where are they falling short? Identifying these gaps can help you find your niche, your unique selling proposition. A solid understanding of the market sets the stage for your business plan. Now it's time to strategize. What services will your air conditioning business offer, and who are your target customers? In crafting your business plan, defining your services is paramount. Will you specialize in installation or offer comprehensive services including maintenance and repairs? Perhaps you'd like to set your business apart by offering energy-efficient solutions. The choices you make here will guide your business operations and marketing efforts. Equally important is identifying your target market. Are you aiming to serve residential customers, commercial clients, or both? Understanding your target customer base will help you tailor your services, marketing strategies, and pricing to their specific needs and preferences. Remember, a well-defined business plan is not just a roadmap for you but also a reassurance for potential investors and partners. It shows you've done your homework and are prepared to navigate the competitive landscape of the air conditioning industry. With a clear business plan, you're ready to tackle the legal and logistical aspects of starting your business. Next, we need to get legal. What's the best structure for your business and what licenses do you need? Well, this can be a bit of a maze, but let's simplify it. Your business can take on one of three legal structures a sole proprietorship, an LLC, or a corporation. Each has its own pros and cons, and you'll need to choose the one that best suits your needs. Once you've decided on a structure, it's time to register your business accordingly. Now let's talk about licenses. Operating an HVAC business requires certain permits and licenses, which can vary based on your location. Check your local regulations, and make sure you're fully compliant before you start operating. Finally, you can't overlook insurance. Accidents happen. And when they do, you need to be prepared. Liability insurance protects both your business and your clients in case of damages or injuries. It's not just a safety net, it's a must-have. Once you're legally set up and insured, you can focus on your team's skills and certifications. Running an HVAC business requires specific skills and tools. Do you and your team have the necessary certifications? Do you have reliable equipment? These questions underscore the importance of proficiency and quality in the air conditioning installation and maintenance business. Certification is not merely a badge, it's a testament to your expertise and dedication to the craft. It's evidence that you're up to date with the latest HVAC technologies and standards, ensuring your customers get the best service possible. So make sure you and your technicians have the necessary certifications and training. Equally important is investing in quality tools and equipment. Your tools are the lifeblood of your business. High-quality equipment not only increases efficiency but also minimizes the risk of errors and reworks. And let's not forget about suppliers. Building relationships with reliable HVAC equipment and parts suppliers is essential. A trustworthy supplier means consistent quality, timely deliveries, and potentially favorable terms. With skilled personnel and reliable equipment, you can confidently set your prices and start marketing your services. Now let's talk money and marketing. 
How will you price your services and how will you attract customers? First, let's dive into pricing strategy. It's crucial to strike a balance between being competitive and profitable. Start by understanding the cost of your services including labor, equipment, and overheads. Then, research market rates and what your competitors are charging. Remember, your pricing should reflect the value you provide, not just the cost of services. Next up, marketing and branding. Your brand is more than just a logo and a business name. It's a promise of quality, a commitment to excellence. This is what sets you apart from the competition. Develop a professional brand identity that communicates your unique selling proposition and resonates with your target audience. An online presence is non-negotiable in today's digital age. A website showcasing your services serves as a 24 7 storefront. It's essential for credibility and for customers to find you. Social media is another powerful tool. It's not just about advertising your services, but also about engaging with your audience, showcasing your expertise, and building a community. Don't underestimate the power of local advertising. Flyers, local newspapers, community events, these can be effective ways to reach potential clients in your area. Remember, people often prefer to do business with local companies they trust. Finally, let's talk about networking. Building relationships with HVAC equipment suppliers and contractors can provide you with a reliable support system. You can learn from their experience, get advice, and even referrals. Joining industry associations is another way to network. It keeps you updated on the latest trends, regulations, and technologies. It's also an opportunity to connect with other professionals in the field, share ideas, and learn from each other. Marketing and networking will help you attract customers, but to keep them, you'll need to focus on staff training and customer service. Remember, a satisfied customer is the best business strategy of all. Your team and your customers are the lifeblood of your business. How will you ensure they're both taken care of? To start, you'll need to hire skilled technicians with the appropriate certifications, but don't stop there. It's essential to provide ongoing training, keeping your team updated on the latest HVAC technologies and best practices. Now let's talk about your customers. The key to their satisfaction lies in providing exceptional service. Remember, a positive experience can turn a one-time client into a loyal customer. But how will you know if your service is up to par? Establish a feedback system. This will allow you to continuously improve your services based on your customer's valuable input. Lastly, let's not forget about compliance. Ensure you're adhering to all environmental regulations related to HVAC systems, as well as safety standards for installations and maintenance. A well-trained team and satisfied customers are key to your business's success. Finally, let's look to the future. How will you maintain relationships with clients and expand your business? Well, a great way to keep your clients coming back for more is by offering them maintenance contracts. These contracts not only ensure consistent income for your business, but also help to keep your clients' air conditioning systems in top shape all year round. They also provide an opportunity to build lasting relationships with your customers by becoming their go-to solution for all their HVAC needs. Maintenance contracts can be structured in a variety of ways. For instance, you might offer an annual plan that covers regular checkups and certain necessary repairs. Or, you could provide a more comprehensive plan that includes emergency services or even replacement parts at a discounted rate. The key is to tailor your contracts to meet the unique needs of your clients, while also ensuring profitability for your business. Now, on to growth opportunities. As your business becomes more established, it's important to continually assess your market and look for potential areas of expansion. This could mean offering new services, such as energy-efficient solutions or smart home integration, to stay ahead of industry trends and meet evolving customer demands. Alternatively, you might consider venturing into new markets. If you've been primarily serving residential clients, for example, you could explore opportunities within the commercial sector. Or, you could look at expanding geographically, perhaps by opening a new branch in a neighboring city or town. Whatever path you choose, remember that growth should be strategic and sustainable. It's not just about getting bigger, it's about getting better. It's about enhancing the value you provide to your customers, improving your operations, and ultimately, increasing your bottom line. By following these steps, you can build a successful air conditioning installation and maintenance business. So, what are you waiting for? Get started today.